today I am throwing my very first pumpkin party for all the kids in our neighborhood. idea of throwing a pumpkin party from my Aunt Sally, who has for years been throwing pumpkin parties for her nieces and her nephews, and I thought it would sound like such a cute idea. We have so many kids in our neighborhood, and I thought it'd be so fun if we had all the kids bring their own little pumpkins. We all chip in and bring different decorations and paints and stickers, and we let the kids just have fun and decorate their own pumpkins. And then also, we're going to have all the families bring a one big pumpkin. Pumpkin. The dads or the moms, whoever wants to do it, we're gonna have a big pumpkin carving competition between the adults. So we're all going to be either decorating or carving pumpkins, and then we're also going to be having chili. So a few of us are making big batches of chili, and then we kind of assigned side dishes, other things for people to bring, so then we can all eat that. We might order some pizza too for the kids. And then when we're all done with all the pumpkin stuff, we're gonna to go to another person's house where we're going to watch the new Hocus Pocus. We're also gonna have a non scary movie on downstairs too just for those kids who aren't quite ready for hocus pocus right now brian is getting angie down for a nap so i'm just kind of walking around trying to organize and get ready a little bit even though we have about two hours till it starts so what we're doing is we're starting at three o'clock from three to five is going to be all the pumpkin stuff from five to six we'll probably do dinner and let the kids just play some more and then six o'clock we're heading over to watch the movie so obviously i need to clean up in here but i'm trying to get some dishes out for like cheese sour cream i wish i had something a little more festive to put the silverware in but i could couldn't find anything. So maybe somebody else has like a Halloween cup we can use. Got my crock pot out ready to put my chili in here in a little bit. I have this cauldron that I'm going to put the Fritos in because in my opinion, you have to have Fritos with chili. As you can see over here, I've already removed some toy bins that I don't want out. As I mentioned, there are going to be a lot of kids here. Some of those bins are filled with paints, with tiny little toys. I'm just trying to control the chaos that I know is coming by putting some of the toys away. <laughs> also got some of these toys like years back at Target, just, just like a witch's hat ring toss. Also these little bean bags and this Halloween bucket as like another game that the kids can be playing. I'm gonna go outside now. We're gonna have two tables set up for the kids to do their painting on and get tablecloths on them and get those ready. And then a big table for the adults to do their carving competition on. So I just wanna have everything ready to go. So when people start arriving, we're ready to start decorating and just having fun and getting ready for Halloween, getting in the Halloween spirit. These cute little stickers that are meant to go on pumpkins. I ordered them off Amazon. Hopefully they work. I've never tried them, but I figured for those people who don't want to bother with paint and don't want their kids to get a little messy, some stickers would be a good option. All right, now the other people are bringing the paints and the glue and everything else, so not really anything else I can add to the kids' table, so I'm gonna set up the adult one now. I have a bunch of these stencils for people to use if they need some ideas. So I'll leave those there. And just so it wasn't all the cost and everything was put on us, I kind of, like I mentioned earlier, distributed out things and I told people, be responsible for your own pumpkin for your kid, your own pumpkin for carving and your own carving tools. So that way, I, that just took something off my plate. I used evite.com to send out the invitation for this. They have a bunch of options that are completely free and those are great. And then one thing I like about evite too is you can, set up like a list of things you need and people can sign up for it right there. So we already knew like, okay, this person's bringing this because they signed up for it. So I really suggest Evite. We I've had really good luck with that one. Miss Layla Jane, if you're wondering where she's been, she made a little tent for herself over here. She's resting up for tonight. Okay, yeah, you use both. Oh, you even got a pillow in there. I like it. Oh, okay, is this your new... Your new hideouts? All right, you take a little nap. Rest up for today. It's gonna be fun afternoon. All right, I think I got everything set up that I can for right now. We have about an hour and a half till people start showing up. So when you get a little bit closer, I'll start putting the food out and getting other things ready. Ah, you guys, are you both ready for your first pumpkin party? And to start off the Halloween season, Layla, this was your outfit. You wore this when you were just a baby. <gasps> it's a little big, because you were six months old at Halloween, and Angie's only four. Oh. <laughs> she, she, hello. Hello. 
All right, people are gonna start getting here soon. I need to go change. I need to get in Halloween stuff. So Layla, nobody's even here yet. And you're already decorating yours. I guess, I guess she wanted to make sure she got the good stickers, huh? And you're just too excited. <laughs> she can show everyone what it's supposed to be like. And then you can just play when everyone else is decorating. Oh! <laughs> okay, these stickers are really cute. They do stick really well on the pumpkins. Now there's some hair. And now let it that dry so it doesn't come off. Ah, that's like cute! It. <laughs> oh, I like how you use the bow tie as a mustache. That was very creative, Layla. It's a boy. Okay, so somebody brought these colors acrylic paint markers and they are amazing. These work fantastic on pumpkins. So cool. Oh, uh, these are cool yeah, stickers too. Well, let's see how they work on there. Oh, look, that sticks really well. That's so cool. I'll link all of these in the description below too. So if you wanna have your pumpkin party, yeah, all of these are working great. I would totally suggest these. going really well. One thing I would suggest, so if you do a pumpkin party, have two tables because we have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten kids, and two tables was not enough. So actually have three, sorry, three tables. Um, just have more than you plan, you think you would need, so kids can have some more space. Layla Jane. Don't you think you're kind of being a little... <laughs> Elsa. You stinker. And I'm a little embarrassed right now because we have the upstairs blocked off because the kids always want to go up and it's annoying for the parents because they don't have to go watch their kids upstairs. They want to just everyone stay downstairs, all the kids downstairs. Layla just put her seat right there so she can stare at all the kids. Layla. <laughs> Don't you think you're taunting everyone just a little bit? Looks like some of the dads are starting the carving competition. Can't wait to see what this looks like. Here's a little update on Brian's. Layla's being the little helper. Eating some cornbread. Is that cornbread good, honey? Can you guys figure out what Brian's doing with this pumpkin? It was actually my idea. It was! It was my idea. Let's see if he can actually execute it, though. Here are some of the pretty kid-painted pumpkins. So nice. Here's Brian's. It says cold boo. There's ice in there. And now, oh, Green Bay, I know who did this one. And then, oh, this one it looks like it's throwing up. That one's awesome. Love these. So what pumpkin do you all like best? Do you like Brian's, the Green Bay Packers, or the throwing up puking one? Leave a comment below, let us know your favorite. Sorry if I'm moving back and forth, it's because I'm rocking. I'm doing the mom rock. I'm rocking Miss Angie Pie, she's at. But we're getting ready now, we're kind of, everyone's eaten, we've all decorated the pumpkins, we've carved the pumpkins, so I think we're gonna start getting ready to head over soon to the next house. It's kind of like a progressive dinner type thing. We're gonna head to the next house so we can watch the new Hocus Pocus. Everyone's out, and it's just us now. We're cleaning up, and then, are we gonna head over to Tom and Megan's, Layla? Oh, she's busy singing. But we're gonna head over to the next house soon. Our house is done, cleaned. Time to go mess up somebody else's house. Good morning. It is the next morning after our pumpkin party and Angie's already down for her first nap of the day. Layla is just chilling, watching some PJ mask because we had a very, very late night, but it was so much fun. So I didn't film a lot over at the other people's house, but we got there and they had just tons of desserts set out, all pretty much from Trader Joe's, and it was so delicious. So it was kind of fun. We had dinner here and then dessert was at the next house. We um, set the whole loft area up for the kids. They all had fun. We had put on Hocus Pocus for them and they got through some of it, not all of it. Um, I think they were just having more fun just running around playing and it was 
was so cute. All the kids were having such a blast. And then at one point it was so fun. All the parents with the babies were around the fireplace trying to rock their kids to sleep. And so we called that the baby corner. And it was just really cute. They had football going on too. And Layla was up so late. I actually came back and put Angie to bed, but Layla was up playing with all of her friends and Brian was over there till super late. So I think it was a super successful pumpkin party. And we all had so much fun. And this is definitely going to be a tradition we do every year, no doubt about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and maybe you'll have a pumpkin party now in your neighborhood too.